This is Tony Lenz, Stein Corn Agronomist, and today I'm by Vermilion, South Dakota. It is May 12th, uh, 2022, and we're going to do an emergence uh, flag study here. Uh, this field was planted on April 27th. So this is the first day that we're seeing emergence on this uh, corn plot, and so we want to look at a Pioneer hybrid next to MX442-20 from Stein, our new MX line, and we want to see how the emergence goes on this. So this is day one where we'll put down pink flags and take a look at that and we'll do that for four days continuous and uh, see what our stands are here, out here and see how fast this uh, corn gets out of the ground. I'll go ahead and I'll flip it around. So what we're gonna do is on my left is a Pioneer product and on my right is MX442-20. And so what I did first here is I laid down a um, tape measure, <coughs> whatever you need to do to measure off 17 and a half feet because these are 30 inch rows. And I put a white uh, Stein flag there on uh, one end and the other, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna count all the emerged plants here. Okay, now I wanted to go ahead and put down the uh, pink flags today, because the first day you come out and do the emergence score, you wanna catch it just when the plants are spiking out of the ground. As you can kind of see there, they are just spiking out. You look down the line, there are the flags that I went ahead and put up, and I kind of showing you here how the plants look as you come along and you go ahead and you put one by it. So you'll see some that are just poking out of the ground. There are a few that are pretty small right there and put a flag by that. Again, then I'll go ahead and I'll count all them flags. He planted at 34,000 and I go down the line here and I've got 31 pink flags. So 31,000 population on the first day of my emergence test and I'll come back tomorrow at the same time, this is on MX442-20. It's uh, one o'clock on uh, Thursday, so I'll come back on Friday about one o'clock and I'll do the same thing with our next color flags. So again, we're wrapping up the MX442 on the first day against the Pioneer. Again, it doesn't take long. You come out in the field, you get so far from the edges. What we're trying to do, avoid any where the plant is slowing down or speeding up where it's a consistent planting speed. We don't have any compaction in the areas where a lot of traffic. If you walk so far out, lay your, um, down your uh, measuring device, get your uh, distance, and then start putting flags beside it. It takes very little time, and we would do this for uh, four days in a row, and really very quick-like. You can see how we went down the line. The soil was uh, pretty good shape. We planted on April 27th. We've had some cold snap in there, but you can see right now, when we're here, this ground is 69 degrees right now. So it's uh, it's warm and that's why we're seeing these plants come up so well, 31,000 out of 34 on both Pioneer and the MX442. So um, we have warmed up very quickly. We're in the heat of the day while I'm out here, but um, you can see what this uh, conditions are, very favorable. It's not really wet conditions. You dig down in there. It's really uh, got some nice moisture under the ground there and uh, really helps us get a good visual of these hybrids and how they emerge. Here we are on day two of our emergence flag study and uh, we're looking at on the left side over here we are going to have the Pioneer competitor that we're looking at. We come over here on the right and this is going to be our MX442. Uh, the first day we had the pink flags put out and both of them had 31,000 emerge out of 34,000. So let's take a look at the MX442. You come along here, we have a yellow flag on day two. There's a plant that is emerged, so now we put up a flag for that. As you see, we've only added 1,000 um, plant-wise, so now we're at 32,000 out of 34,000 planted on the MX442. We come to the Pioneer and the same thing with that. They went ahead and picked up uh, another uh, new plant on theirs, so now they have 32,000 and we started at 34,000. So we will come back on day three and put the next flag up and see if we can gain another plant, get us closer to what it was planted at. But um, um, very, very fast emergence on day one, but day two, we did pick up a thousand more plants there. Okay, we're out in day three of our emergence study. And as you see, we have our pink and our yellow from the last two days. Again, we were at 32,000 out of 34,000. So on day three, we're gonna put a white flag down. And as you see, we go down the line, we have not found an area where anything new has grown 
in the Pioneer. Again, you can kind of go down there, haven't seen anything new. And then we go over to the Stein MX442 and I do not see anything new in that area. So um, on day three, we are gonna have no new flags. We're gonna stay at 32,000 for a population. Okay, we're back for day four of the emergence study. Again, this was planted on April 27th. And today, day four, we're gonna go with the uh, blue flags. So we had pink on the first day, as you can see down there. We had yellow on the second day. We did not have any white flags for day three. And now we've went here on day four to put out the blue flags. And today we did a little more intensive kind of digging to see what's going on. So on my right is the MX442. And we go down the line and we found all 34,000 uh, plants that that was planted at. Again, the pinks were day one. There's a yellow one for day two that came up. And then we came to day four and we had we did a little bit more digging, right? So I went in there and found that seed and it's still barely put on a sprout. So we're not even sure if that's gonna make it. And so again, anything day four and later, it's the blue flag, but I just like it that you can see that there's a seed in the ground. We go down another couple more spots and you can see how that's kind of leafed out underground. So um, we have really 2000 plants per, per acre that we're a little bit concerned about that we probably are gonna not get a, um, get a good plant out there, but everything else should be really reasonable. We come over here to the Pioneer, we go down the line, there's the pink ones. And then we did have a um, one with the blue flag and you can see that seed's just sitting in the ground down there, not really doing much. Um, they had a yellow one that came up on day two. And then they also have another one on with a blue flag, kind of see the seed down in the ground, not doing much of anything either. So um, I'm pretty happy with 32,000 out of 34, and each one's gonna have 2,000 plants that are gonna struggle. Okay, we're at the same plot where we had just taken the tests on the MX442 versus the Pioneer. And so I want to pick out another area in this field. And here's the final day four, where we're gonna show you everything that we saw the differences here. IMX 709-20 is on the right side when you're looking at this. And on the left side will be your um, 9709-G. So we'll go down the line here. And this again, day four, you'll see all the pink flags that we had up for day one. We did not have any yellow flags for day two. And we did not have any flags, yellow, uh, white flags for day three. But we did come along, get a little more intensive here on digging. And we go down here on the MX 709-20. And you're going to see in there, there is a seed down there that's just kind of sitting there. We're not sure what that's going to do. So again, that gets a blue flag for day four. Anything day four and later is going to be that way. And we definitely get to keep an eye on that to see if that even produces a good plant that will produce a good ear. We go in the MX 709, we come down the line, we found our other plant. Seed down there in the ground, you can see down in there that's just sitting there, putting a little bit of sprout. We're hoping that thing can get going and make it up, but will it become a weed or not? So we put a blue flag by that. So the MX 709-20, we found all 34,000 seeds. Two of them are gonna be a little slow. We come over to the 9709-G, and there we've got, I'll show you all the pink flags. We had uh, two yellow flags that came up a little bit late. We did not have any white flags for day three. But then again, they have 2,000 plants that you can see the seed we found, not doing much of anything right now. So that's a concern. We come over here, there's another blue one. That one actually leafed out underground. So I found a corn, uh, corn uh, cob on top of that, kind of pinched it down there. See there, you can even see that it, it did that. So you can kind of see there's a lot of different variables that happen. You either have a seed that's just sitting there, put a sprout on it, or maybe something caused some uh, um, stress on that. So it leafed out underground. But again, this is looking at uh, 9709-G versus MX 709-20 and back up here and it gives you a good idea of the whole picture on that 17 and a half feet of row.